Hey guys, welcome back to more Epic Chef. This is episode 24 and we are going to be taking on the Silver League today. I'm Myth Ninja and thank you guys for joining me. But, very first thing I want to do is show you guys what I've done. Um, it's not exactly finished because, well, let's face it, I don't have much right now. Um, so, I put up walls. The only thing is these walls take up a lot more space than uh, the fences are. Or do. Um, I plan on putting fence all the way out here so that way I could have the cow pen and stuff like that. But uh, I do need to finish the cow pen. Um, I do have the unicorn area right here. They need a lot of space. So their, their fountain and their summoner is quite gigantic. Um, I do have some meat in there. What is that? That's not supposed to be in there. I'll take that out real quick. Yeah, only the unicorn delight. I have one unicorn to life from uh, the last time we played. So, with that out of the way, we're gonna go quickly to uh, the culinary tower and uh, check out what our challenges are gonna be like. Because obviously, I just went to Neveth last night, well, in game, uh, bought the service, and now we can see what it is that our opponents are gonna be challenges against. But see you guys there in just a second. And we're here. It's now 9 a.m. when they open, and we're about to see where the silver challengers are. Oh, come on. Alright, so it's bronze and copper. I mean, iron. Uh, that's right, Tomatillo. He is a silver, I do believe. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you want to fight? You want to fight, eh? Sure. I'm sure we can learn a thing or two. Always good to see some passion around here. Ooh, plus 80 for Sarumi. And, uh, the squid. And then times two on that. So that means I would need to go first right need to go first and then go first again on the second half I'm just gonna have to double down on this one do this not right now I don't have those ingredients I mean I technically do but I don't have them on me uh, so this guy looks like chef Blaine Romanisco ah zest I see you're making good progress I suppose you want to put your skills to the test now good whoa okay uh Ooh, yikes. Minus a hundred. But I have process on my side, which means I can I can do my thing. Only one of us is gonna get the buff for the land. This is two rounds too, jeez. And then times two in sophistication. Alright, I think this would be a piece of cake. I think all these are gonna be two rounders. Things may have things may have changed a little bit around here, but we could still have a good clash. Nope. Perhaps later. Okay, who's the third person? Obviously, it's not you. Uh, I can't wait to get that chef's apron. And then that hat, too. Who's the last silver? Oh, here she is. Cl Cliffoa? Zest, right? Here to put your skills to the test? Crossing spatulas with you will be interesting. Oh, this is a single round, and there's no judge's taste. So I think this is probably be the one we're challenging first. Probably give it the easiest one too. All right, because it's only one round. Uh, this will give us ample opportunity to improve our skills, shall we? I'm sorry, not right now. Okay. So overall, it seems like a pretty easy menu that I'm going to be creating here. Uh, I I did not see the Romanesco. I mean, Tomatillo is also two rounds. Okay, so it's two two rounds. Two two rounders. Um, okay, but with that being said, I'm going to get to grinding real quick, get all these ingredients that I need, and we'll be back in a flash. Well, it is early in the morning here in the culinary tower. We're about to challenge the Silver League, and I have all of my menus ready. So, starting off with uh, Cliff Cliffoa. We have a mud eel surumi, the macaroni sauce, and an Irwin fruit. This is going to be a straight vigor challenge. Um, it, it might not be very good, and we might lose, unfortunately. But, oh man, it's, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a, a wild ride for that one, because this is the Silver League. And since there's no judging, I just didn't want to cook something that I've already cooked before. Um, with tomatillo... It didn't classify that I. It was like one and one, uh, so we're gonna do double the same exact thing. Um, now with Romanesco, is gonna be a tough one. As you can see, we have a variety for both rounds. Um, this round on the second round is gonna be a very, 
interesting uh, tactic here. So if you guys want to actually see how to beat this, and I'm hoping this wins, um, this plan might actually work out in our favor here. And it looks odd, but uh, it, it should help us win, I hope. Um, but off to the first challenge, uh, Cliffoa. Hello, my lady. Yep, yep, and uh, it's been past seven days, and we will have to buy Nevitz thing again later. Of course, I see you are taking this well. The, if the king thought it made sense, there's little we can do about it. Alrighty, here we go. First match in the Silver League, Zest versus Cliffoa. No judges taste. We might just Time lose this. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll find out. Rupa. Oh boy. Oh, run up, bye -bye. Luckily, it's only one round. All right, Mario, do your thing. Get as much aroma as possible out of these things. Thirty-seven. Oh, the Surumi, gonna get both. That actually might have just helped us out a lot there. Okay. Now, the macronades. Start grabbing these before they disappear. Okay, that wasn't very good. Alright, I hope this wins. Gotta hope for the best. Scores ended up being slightly above average. Or more average than I expected. Zero. At 113. Yeah, I know, it looks a little strange. Just taste it, my guy. 81. 32. 36. One hot. Oh, come on, why are you getting to be 150? I'm scared. Okay. Oh, boy, I don't like the look of that. Oh, it just be really high. 69, not as good as mine. 69? I've already lost! Bro. Okay, well. The, uh, wow, that's tough. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I think I know what I had to pull out here. So that's the feet to feet one on the Silver League, I guess. Let's see. We're just gonna keep going here. All right, Tomatillo. Let's see if we can beat this guy. I know these are gonna be rough. Uh. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't even read what that said. Ah, uh, I'm still distraught. <laughs> Zez is just Tomatillo on the second round. For the second match, I should say. In the Culinary Tower, we are gonna have to revisit that first one, unfortunately. Oh, it is two and two. Huh. Climb is down. So I mean, I'm messed up here. But uh, either way, it's going to be a high sophistication death on dish on both rounds. Okay. So, bam. Grab those real quick. Okay, that's good. Do mud eel. Come on, baby. And then we're gonna do this. Yeah, a bit chutney. Make sure we don't lose any of these points. And then we're gonna do our surumi. 1.9 times. Oh, yeah, 
122. Serve the dish. How much would it be he has a, some sort of negative or something? Like my guy. I mean, if he doesn't get the cucumber and the surumi on this round. At 50, good thing I went first. I mean, I need to go first, and I need to go first on the second round as well. Oh, that actually looks really good. Four. That's actually pretty good. Thirty-one and <laughs> two forty-four. Jeez, four ninety-nine. Is he even gonna get close? I'm sure he is. Oh, he has to remain cute too, but I think he put it in a different position. And he's gonna get the other times two. Forty-seven. Pretty much the same as mine. That's a lot higher than mine. One hundred two. Not as good. Though. Okay, so unfortunately it's going to be the same thing, but that means we're going to pretty much gain the same score. And then just times two. Oh man, it sucks that we lost the first one. Like, I mean, I kind of had a feeling because we were going for a Vigor dish and I don't have very many Vigor items. So unfortunate as it is, we got to keep going. Here's some of these. If you can hit 17 aroma, okay, then we're good. We're in the clear. The mud eel. Okay. okay, as long as you hit over 50. I'm gonna grab these for this spear. Right. Now, the chutney. This is where we really get our points. Quick. Hey, I don't know what you're doing. 98 aroma, though. 61, 1.9. 120? 22? Oh yeah. This should this should indefinitely get us the win. There's no other modifiers except for whoever gets this first times two. Yep, still at 50, 106. I blasted him. Got blasted, my guy. Same exact dish. How do you like it, sir? <laughs> the game literally did the same exact thing. 44. 31. 244. <laughs> 818. Oh man, now that's a landslide. What is that? A, a penguin ghost chicken? Is he just gonna like pull something out of his butt? 45. 57. 78. Oh, he wouldn't have even came close. And then now there was the minus one. Why now on that last round? Plus 818. Wow, that was a landslide victory. Yes. Well, turns out lost the first one. Unfortunately, we will have to come back and do that. But we won against the Matillo. Good job, Zest. Bolton would have disqualified you in a heartbeat for the way you held your pants today. Then again, maybe he would have disqualified me as well for using a slightly bent spatula. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, that's just the way it goes. Okay. Now, Romanescu. Now, this guy, this guy scares me a little bit. Things may have changed a little bit. Yep. I'm ready when you are. If you trust a new judge, that is. Well, he has a different focus on what I'm used to, but still, a challenge is a challenge. There you go. Match and final match. Match three and final match of the Silver League. Romanesco. Actually, this is going to have to be the fourth. Plus 200, plus 150, plus 100, minus two on ocean, which I'm not doing any ocean. And then indefinitely, mine, I mean, uh, times two sophistication. Oh boy, oh boy. So here we go. Rice pasta. So it's going up a little slow. Okay, 35. Do 
this. I know I'm not getting anything for this, but it's just it's for the setup for next round pretty much. Ah shoot. Okay, we're at 50 though. This should get us over. When wrong we hit over 65, we're golden. Man, red sauce. Oh man, please don't have anything over 75 aroma. I haven't seen anyone with anything over 75 aroma, so I should be fine. Now I'm gonna be getting all these bonuses if I do get first. 50. Oh, cool. Well, hey. Yep, that 200, baby. The only one. Jeez, that's already 450 on the board. I'm not gonna get much on the times two factor, but uh, that's not the point. 105 and plus 56. Okay, so we're at yeah, and then times two on the sophistication. 634. Oh, 150, 100. Yeah, that 200 will really give me the edge here. 39. Oh god. One thirty fudge. One thirty eight. Okay. We hasn't caught up. Oh, and then plus times three on. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be a very interesting match here. Oh, we have all three modifiers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be freaking insane. Well, I'm gonna get the times one of the thing. Oh, and I don't do any any fudge. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of everything here as well. Barely anything. But we have to get first. No, please stop disappearing. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, this is bad! This is really bad! We had to get at least 50 here. I don't need to get the the times two here. I need to get 50. Over 50. I do need to get the two little bubbles of... Okay, well this should get me to 50, I think, if I do it right. Okay, oh yeah, sweet. With those, oh, okay, well I lost those, but it's okay. We got 108. Oh, here it goes. If I did that right, if I did that right, we should win. We're at plus 100 something. Or a couple points over. 79. Okay, good. We needed to get first. <laughs> plus 216. Plus 84. Yes. He's not going to be getting that uh, spirit, though. Oh my goodness. Please. Oh, he's seafood. What a dummy! What a dummy! That's not enough. <gasps> Please don't tell me that's enough. No way! God, no! Ah, ha, ha! Well, <sighs> back to the drawing board, I guess. We are back with some new menus. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm actually not going to use this. This is going to be the card bar sauce. Uh, move this over. Yeah, it's going to be card bar sauce um, for the first lady. Oh, man, I hope we beat her this time. We should beat her with this. I hope. Yes, let's go. Come on, come on. We had to win it this time. It took, a, it took a quite a long time to figure out this combo because obviously she hit 200. None of my dishes hit 200 that I've ever Can made. I've never had a dish that hit 200. So I think deducting her points right off the bat is going to be essential. Prevents her from even getting the points. So 
Ghost Tato. Two. It's literally just for the times two bonus. Oh man, there's not even not even enough. But I'm hoping that the minus the minus 69 she's gonna get here is gonna be enough. Hard bar sauce. Alright, let's see it. This should do it. This is usually a dish that I make to win matches, so this should be enough. And then the minus one of the spirit. Oh boy, here it goes. Oh, it's a jellyfish. She has grapes? 69. Ooh, minus 69. And plus 62. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Jeez, that's what I needed to do. Oh my gosh. What are the chances that I actually had a negative her? Hey! Ugh. So frustrating. But <laughs> we got the win. Got the win, that's all that matters. You're getting better, Zest. You might even become a master one day. Good job. Oh, wow. I don't even know if that's supposed to be a compliment or not. <laughs> Alright, well, we beat the Matteo. And then uh, now, obviously, it is. Oh, time for Romanesco. This one is going to be a tough one. Because I'm banking on this giving me... Uh, I mean, it's not even going to be a lot, to be honest. But it's something. Oh, no. I think I'm going to lose again. Oh, I need my spatula. That's right. Uh, this is going to be so tough. I don't even have the proper ingredients to beat this guy, I don't think. I think I may have to like really grind out and level up, unfortunately. I mean, I'm level 30 as it stands right now. There's a couple things that could be done, I guess. But it's a stretch. Uh, we're going to be banking on that times three at the end of the round, though. Gotta get over 50 and not miss any points. Not the meat. sauce in here. What? Okay, whatever. You know, it's fine. I wouldn't even get a hundred points for that last bit, but uh, shit. And it's only because I missed those two points. But you know what? I'll get that one, the first 200, so... It's just to put me over the edge, hopefully. And he won't be getting times two this time from that stupid buff I did. I think that's really what messed me up on the first half is that he I got times two, but he also got times two, and that's what shouldn't have happened. Ninety-three, one hundred five, and then ninety-six, six seventy-four. See now here. He would get the times two, right? This time, he's not. 
but he has these crazy numbers. Oh no, yeah, not on the first half, but the second half he does. 138. Yeah, times three on the. Uh, this is gonna be nuts. I don't even know if I can override that that times two on sophistication. But we're gonna give it a try. Obviously, we're gonna have to get first again. Oh boy. Uh, we do have to go first here. Oh, that thing is kind of small. As long as you get over 45, we're good. And then I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to hope it does. That should give us first. Oh, I don't think it's going to override that times two, but as long as I get the times two and then he gets that minus one, as long as it turns at minus one, I think we'll be okay. I don't think it can be overridden, though. I don't know how it's going to map that out either. Ah, oh, crap. Let's see. <laughs> 33 times three. 135! Okay! I'm okay with that! No! I think I lost then! No, I definitely lost! It's only 90 days! Okay, that's minus 100 though. Yeah, I definitely lost. That's game. Wow, that's insane! Why? Oh my gosh! Hey! <sighs> and as if, jeez, man, that's so frustrating. That is so so frustrating that I just lost by that tiny margin. <sighs> well, it looks like this is gonna be a long video, you guys. Uh. We'll be back whenever I have those ingredients. Well, we are here back about to challenge Romanesco for the third time today. Oh man, it's been a long day. Uh, I've been at this all day just grinding and trying to get these items. Um, so the same one's pretty the same, except it's going to be a breaded herd one this time. Um, and we have downgraded uh, to this. I'm going to take a page out of his book because I noticed he has been using an ocean but that's because ocean tends to give better vigor. And I'm going to do an old dish of mine that gave me like 150 uh, <laughs> vigor. Oh, and then I also uh, I did buy with my challenge coins the fungus sauce that's like somewhere over here. Yeah, it's over here. So I bought, I bought one of these things where I did buy that thing. And uh, it's mine now and I'm using it. It's going to give me, it's going to give him minus one to, um to vigor hopefully it overrides that times three so i can get it but he won't but we'll see what happens i do have to get first at least over 45 on the first half i mean on the second half oh man i'm still gonna get all the plus 200 and everything so minus 100 on the second half won't be too bad this should be a fairly decent first round as well. The breaded Irwin's actually pretty good. I didn't think it was when I first made it, but then after seeing it a few times, it actually was. Okay, so now the ground beef is where I get my... Did I just mess up? I just messed up. Oh no, I just messed up. Oh no, I just messed up.
I'm not gonna get that plus 200. That plus 200 is gonna screw me. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this so long, I totally spaced. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, I hope he doesn't get that plus 200. If he gets that plus 200, it's gonna be over. I am appalled at myself. <sighs> no. Milan Kar. 471. I mean, uh, it's not horrible, but I I think he won this. Yeah, that's meat. Yeah, that was, fuck. That already puts him at 450. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this. I, oh, man, come on, Tony. Jeez. Oh, 694. Kali Toy, Stone. Milleram Kar, Rupa. 694. There's no way I can win this. I don't think. I had to get over 45. Mm, that's minus one, but that's alright. 45, okay. 77. Oh, that's right. I don't have. I didn't have like the macaroni sauce to make this thing even better. But with 86, ah, oh, I'm really hoping it does a trick. Oh my gosh! All right. Oh, oh man, I am gonna be so upset if I have to do this a fourth time. It takes so long to do all of these, you guys. You guys have no idea. Oh, that's right. He goes up to 50. Oh, I mean, I beat him though. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Plus 250, that's nothing. <laughs> yes! Minus one, minus times one, minus one. She's gonna get minus 100 right now. <laughs> and he's about to get minus again, which I don't know how much this will be. Minus 116. Yes! Woo! We did it! I don't know if I was even supposed to be able to beat that at this level, but we did it! Oh my god! Oh! Oh yes! Oh yes, the satisfaction! We beat the Silver League, everybody! Oh my god! Extraordinary job, Zest. I noticed quite a few technical flaws, but you'll manage to get rid of them, I'm sure. And you've managed to impress the judge, which is what matters in the end, right? Oh my goodness! Wow! I cannot believe we just did that! Oh my god, I, I'm literally shaking. I can't believe we just barely... Oh, by the skin of our teeth. Jeez! Oh my gosh. Alright, let's talk to this freaking ass. Gold tears this. You should be proud of yourself for defeating chefs that could almost be called acceptable. You really take motivational com comedic jerkiness bolt badly, don't you? These people are masters of the trade. If they don't deserve respect, who does? <sighs> of course I respect them, Zest, but I'm not here to be a bootlicker and tell people how good they are. I'm supposed to be pushing them forward so they can reach their true potential. Bolton was way harsher than I. Man is an in in inventive is as inventive with his insults as he is with his pots and pans. The way I've seen him chew his students' ears off would reduce an inquisitor to a weeping mass in a corner. 
maybe so, but that's the fact that he could do do what he was yelling at his students for failing at. You're telling me you can't yell at a plumber for installing a toilet that flushes outwards and leaves you covered in waste if you don't know how to install a toilet yourself? I'm telling you that I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it at a pl at the plumbing academy while the plumbers are learning how to build a toilet. Fair point, but the Culinarium Tower isn't only a technical school, it's a central cultural institution. Technique alone is not everything. Without purpose, skill is useless. That's the thing, you're not allowing them to find their own purpose, just imposing yours. I'm helping them find their own path by taking them to the top of my mountain and showing them the view. I widen their horizons and allow them to truly decide where they want to go next. I set them free, Zest. But if you force everyone in here to climb your hill, you're making sure no one will be able to reach other faraway lands that not even you can see. That's why Bolton just made sure everyone learned how to walk and, and that. Whenever they deserve to go, whenever they decided to go, they reached that place with a firm step. This is an interesting chat, Zest. No sarcasm, I promise. But I don't want to distract you right now. You are gold tier now, and as such, you have a chance to conquer the Culinarium League by fighting the current champion. I think you know him well. No. Don't tell me it's... It's him. But he's not here right now. There's no one here right now. Just a gold spatula. I think I'd have to walk into the building. Oh, but d did he even give me my gold? He did. Oh my gosh! Hold on, no, no, not there, not that one. We're gonna do this. Not move it. We're gonna do the shortcuts. Ah, oh, jeez, gold rank challenge of the Culinary League. Well. That was a very, very long and very tiring and frustrating match for the Silver League, but it was beat. This video, unfortunately, is going to be a little longer, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.